Yeah, maybe we could whack that marquee up in front of the house up there. The ground's pretty flat, you know, it's pretty shade. Yeah, it'll be upwind of the septic too. That's got to be a good thing. <laughs> yeah, remind me why we're getting married in a farm again. Hey, mate, I like you a lot, but we're not getting married, OK? <laughs> Oi, this is the only wire I can find. No, we need the heavy duty stuff. It won't it make do for now? No, it won't keep the stock in. Jeff, about the livestock. Well, I'll just go see what I can dig up, okay? Careful. Jeff catches you slapping off like that, he might get out the stock with you. Really? I'd like to see him try. <laughs> Irene, I saw Lou today. Where? At the diner when I was getting lunch. Well, he shouldn't have been there. I made it very clear to him he was to stay away from a workplace. Well, he seemed pretty desperate to see you. And more to the point, he shouldn't be talking to you about it. I'm sorry, love. It's, it's not your fault. No, that's OK. Don't bite my head off, but... I mean, you haven't been yourself since you died. Yeah, well, it hasn't been easy. Even though I like him, I know I would be crazy to be involved with someone carrying so much baggage. Still, it's probably for the best. It's done stuff. To know with him in charge around here, the place is going to be operational pretty soon. Mm, that's if he doesn't kill us first. <laughs> Where is he anyway? I don't know. He's out there somewhere making sure there's enough troughs for all the cattle. Oh, I thought you were sticking with veggies, Mother. I am. Look out. Here he comes. Will you at least let me look at it? It might need stitches. Uh, Annie, will you just stop fussing? All right. Oh, what happened? He cut his hand on barbed wire. Well, maybe you should grab me those gloves like it asked you to. Maybe if you bother to say please. Hey, 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 hey. It's enough. Show me. Oh, love, it's not too bad. Just wash it and make sure your tetanus shots are up to date. How about a politeness shot while you're at it? OK, I think <laughs> we've all had enough for the day. Why don't we just call it a day? I'll drink to that. Yeah, well, I've still got to check those water Jeff, shots. trust off. me, we're done. Who's in that little the burner? Well, what would he be doing out here? Hmm. I wonder. Now, before you say anything, it wasn't Annie's fault. I know it's not. But if you're not going to return my calls, what's a man to do? Mm, take the hint. Well, yes, I could, but I didn't get to where I am today by rolling over when things got tough. Now, I would like to offer you a lift back to town because there's something I'd like to show you. Please, Henri. What it is may just change your mind. If you're here to break up with me, now's not a very good time. Colleen's gonna kill me if I'm late for this I'm shift. I'm not here to break up with you. Really? That's if you're serious about getting off the pills. I am, of course I am. But you're, um... You're gonna have to do it without me. I don't understand. Well, I've... I've gone through the withdrawals with Dad and I just don't think I can go through it again with you. But I want you to talk to somebody else, maybe Rachel. I just think you need to get some professional help. But you're saying that if I get through this on my own, you're going to be there? Yeah, if you can get through all this stuff, then... <sighs> yeah, I'll be there. I can do this. I know I can. Last time. This is different. The thought of losing you is all the motivation that I need. I love you so much, and I'm not going to let you down. Now, about the 
cattle. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I called an old mate of Pops. He said he's got 30 head of cattle that he wants to offload, so it's a pretty good deal. This is what I want to talk to you about. Jeff, sit down. There's not going to be any cattle, any sheep, or any sort of livestock. But it's a farm. My farm. Yeah, I kind of got that. You weren't that interested. I don't know, it's just that Pops always had livestock on the farm, so it's kind of hard to imagine the farm without it. Yeah, I understand that. I know you have a lot of history on the farm. But if you think about it, you left to pursue other things. School, footy, the ministry. And just because some of those things haven't worked out, it doesn't mean you should try and turn back the clock. Well, I'm trying to move on. Yeah. Jeff, this is a fresh start for me. And while I really want you to be part of it, it has to be on my terms. This has to be my vision, not yours. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Sorry. Let's call this a fresh start for both of us. So, does that mean I have to cancel the 30 head of cattle I just ordered? Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, when you said you had a boat, I didn't think it was a flippin' great cruise ship. <laughs> Not quite, but, uh, yeah, she is very comfortable, shall we? <sighs> She's also um, fully equipped with everything that two people could possibly need or want on an extended trip at sea. Two people? Mm. Come away with me, Irene. Next time on Home and Away. I want to be happy now with you. Stop behaving like someone who hasn't done anything wrong. Stop spreading rumours about Miss Wilson. You stay away from the cold. Rob, bust your face open for real this time. Do you want to get back with him or what? It's just the way he was today is the way I wish he'd been when we were going out. You're not going out with him. Why would that be a bad thing? Because Roman's my mate. He's got nothing to do with you. Who else is going to look after our name, Jeff? There's no question. You have to go. You're not seriously going to do this alone without telling anybody. Nicole, you are no expert, so just, just back off.